back everyone. If this is your first time here, my name is Adam D'Agostino, the peptide professor. Today we are going to discuss a peptide that is, in my opinion, one of the best and most effective peptides currently available. This peptide is actually one that I've used myself to help recover from injuries and also to promote hair regrowth. The peptide is GHKCU. GHKCU, also known as copper tripeptide 1, is a naturally occurring copper complex which was first isolated from human plasma and has since been found in other areas of the body. Copper peptides are naturally occurring protein fragments that have a strong attraction to copper ions and play a vital role in normal functioning of the body. GHK levels decline as we age, which makes supplementing with it even more powerful. This peptide has been the subject of numerous studies which have revealed several key roles and benefits in the human body. GHK modulates gene expression across nearly one third of the human genome and also acts as a powerful antioxidant by raising glutathione, which plays a crucial role in maintaining overall cellular health. GHK has been shown to improve the healing of ischemic open wounds leading to faster healing. It also promotes synthesis of collagen and elastin in the skin, which are essential for wound healing and tissue repair. GHK stimulates collagen and decorin production, which are essential for tissue regeneration and wound healing. It also increases cellular stemness and secretion of trophic factors by mesenchymal stem cells. GHK promotes skin remodeling, which is crucial for wound healing and regeneration. In clinical studies, GHK has been shown to improve the appearance of aging skin and also reduce scarring. It has demonstrated strong anti-inflammatory and tissue repair properties. The ability of GHK to promote skin remodeling, wound healing, and regeneration coupled with its prominent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects, make it a potent anti-aging and healing compound. Another interesting point is that GHK has been found to increase hair growth and thickness, as well as enlarging hair follicle size. It stimulates collagen synthesis by fibroblasts, which is necessary for hair growth and thickness. GHK promotes growth of hair follicles, and has natural inhibitory effects on dihydrotestosterone, also known as DHT, which is a key factor in hair loss regulation. This differs from mainstream hair loss products, such as finasteride and dutasteride, which block DHT and potentially result in side effects like sexual dysfunction and mood swings. Although most effective when administered via sub-Q injection, GHK can also be taken orally in capsule form or used as a topical cream. While GHK is a versatile peptide on its own, it is often stacked with BPC-157 and TB-500 because of their synergistic effects. This trio is commonly referred to as the Wolverine stack because of its powerful healing capabilities. All three of these peptides have their own unique properties, but they work within the same pathway of healing and regeneration which is why they're often combined in capsule form and can even be safely mixed into the same syringe for one easy injection. To learn more about mixing peptides, I recommend watching my other videos specifically about safely combining peptides. Next, we're going to discuss the dosing protocol. The recommended dosage for GHKCU is one to two milligrams daily, injected subcutaneously or 1.5 to 2.5 milligrams daily, taken as an oral capsule. With either method, it should be done first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. As with any peptide, I always recommend to start low and go slow. The reason for doing this is to assess your tolerance to the peptide. While GHK has an excellent safety profile, it's always prudent to start low and go slow. In this case, you would start at the lower end of the recommended range, which would equate to one milligram. Use this amount for your first two doses. 
If you feel good after that, go up to 1.5 milligrams for your next two doses. And if you feel good after that, go up to the full two milligram dose and stay there for the duration of the cycle. If you are using GHK to address a more serious injury or issue, you can certainly increase to a dosage of 2.5 milligrams. Generally speaking, you should use GHK for a duration of about eight weeks and then take eight weeks off. This can vary depending on the severity of your injury or issue. If you see significant improvement after only a few weeks, you can certainly shorten the cycle down to about four to six weeks. However, if you have a more serious issue, such as a significant wound, soft tissue injury, or even hair loss, you can extend your use of GHK to a maximum of 12 weeks. But again, eight weeks seems to work well for most people. For reconstitution guidelines, you can watch my other videos or you can sign up for coaching. Research to date indicates that GHK-CU exhibits minimal to no side effects when administered at the dosage I just mentioned. As with any peptide, there's always the possibility of injection site reactions such as mild pain, redness, minor swelling, or irritation. Typically, these are very minor and dissipate rather quickly. While using GHK, I have personally experienced a slight burning sensation at the injection site, which is actually very common. This can be alleviated by adding more bacteriostatic water during the reconstitution process which simply makes the peptide solution less concentrated. Alternatively, if you are also using BPC-157 and or TB-500 at the same time, you can combine these peptides in order to reduce the burning sensation upon injection. If you still have issues after trying these methods, then you can always switch to the oral capsule to avoid this altogether. As always, if you want to know where I source my peptides from, you should sign up for the email list. This will provide a vast array of great information, which you can utilize on your health and wellness journey. I also highly recommend getting the Essential Peptide Guide, as well as the Peptides Reference Chart. And you can even sign up for coaching, which will actually include both of these documents at no extra cost. All of the links can be found in this video's description, as well as the channel's profile. I really appreciate everyone watching this video and supporting the channel, and I look forward to working with you. Thanks again.